Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix a problem when you import into DaVinci Resolve images that are named in sequence. Welcome to SharingYourPassion.com. I'm Chill and my goal is to help you transform your passions into an online business. I will assist you with creating WordPress websites, online courses, email automation, membership sites, social media and how to make it work for you, sales and marketing, and more. Basically, you provide a passion and I provide assistance and let's work to get your dreams realized. Subscribe and click the notification bell to set your dreams in motion. Okay, so here we are. We are using DaVinci Resolve 16. I'm in the edit page and the problem arises when you have a set of images like these and they're named in sequence like it goes from one, two, three, four, five. And the problem arises when you drag this, you do a select all, drag it into the media pool and I was expecting to see all these images separated, not just one little icon that has them all. And what is this? This, when you drag this down, it's just this tiny little clip and I play it, it goes really fast. So what's happening here is DaVinci Resolve thinks this is a sequence of um, frames. Like um, the, what's happening here is DaVinci Resolve thinks this is a sequence of images that are meant to be like a stop motion video clip. It puts it all together and it fits 29 of those images into one second. If that was a stop motion type of series of images that was created specific, specifically like that, then sure, we, we would use it that way. But no, in my situation, I want to use it as a normal image. If these images had different names and they weren't in sequence, then DaVinci Resolve would treat them separately. How do we fix that? Okay, first let me delete these ones. So let's go into our media tab. Okay, so this is our media tab. I browsed to that folder that contains those images in sequence and it's sitting in here. Let me double click that. Okay, so it grouped all these images into one. So if you drag that into your timeline, again, it will treat that as a video file and put each image into each frame. And you have 29 frames per second. At least that's the, the frame rate I'm using right now. So that's not what I want. And how do we fix it? The fix is really simple. You go here to the three dots, click it, and show individual frames. Okay, now you can see each one of them. Then you do a control A, control, I mean copy all, drag it down into your media pool, then go over to your edit page and there they are, all nicely separated even though they're in sequence. So now you can drop these one by one if you want or you can select all or you can select all and drag them down that's the way I intended to make this this video this type of video it's like a slideshow it's not a stop-motion video okay so that's the way to fix the problem I hope you found this useful and if so please give the video a like let me know down in the comment section below if you have other questions that I haven't addressed and I'll certainly get back to you as soon as I can I'll be doing more videos like this, so subscribe and click the notification bell to see those. And remember, it's my mission to give you the tools and inspiration to help you build your online business and transform your passion into success. Thank you.